over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air The pain I felt is paid for All is said and done interface of the After Effects which is welcome screen. Here you can see your previous projects. If you don't have any previous project you will just see welcome to the After Effects panel uh, interface. I assume that this tutorial is just for beginners so I'll tell you how to cut your clips, how to create the composition, how to add audio and how to beat mark it in this tutorial. So let's get started if you're new to After Effects. In order to create our edit, click on this new project icon. Now you can see the there are a few panels. Um, I'll name it project panel and this is composition panel. This is timeline and these are effects and settings panels. But no need to focus here for now. Just focus on these two. First, we have to create our composition. So click on this new composition thing and the settings will pop up. You can rename it, but I don't rename it because I am lazy. But for now, I have to rename it. I have to act um professional so i'll name it tutorial so. now the ratio thing you can manually change it from here by typing your ratio but if you are lazy like me go to the presets and select it from here here is the real size then the landscape size and then the square what I do is square for this tutorial when is you want ratio so select this ah oh, sorry squares select the squares wait 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 okay select the square I'm oh, sorry for frame rate do it 60 because it will go smoother 30 is okay but I will recommend you 60 if you it depends on your device because if you have a device that is lagging with after effects so keep it ease on 30 but 60 that's what I prefer resolution full and duration whatever you want according to your audio no need to be accurate because we can change it later for now press ok so it will create our composition here now what to do is drag and drop our project in this project panel here so you can go to the my files and drag and drop directly but for me it is in desktop so I'll drag and drop it from the desktop directly I will drag and drop it so what I have here now is this audio of the Superman double click on this thing to preview your footage so this will be my this was my edit I edited it last year on the cap cut but I'm gonna use its audio for now Superman audio that you have guessed it already. To so come back on your composition, come click on this composition tutorial, whatever you need it, it will show here. Select this audio and drag and drop it on the timeline. So you see now. Now I want this to be looped. It will go further. I don't want this to go further. 
I want this to end it here so you can see this blue icon this blue point or something like this drag this till the end of the clip so now your video will be play here and then start it okay we did this now we have beat mark to understand how to uh, beat mark press star on your keyboard never add the marker like this okay let's do it to add beat if you want to add beat more accurately select this layer and press L on your keyboard then you'll see this wave from waveform click here and then you can see the waves so you can set the beats according to where is the wave high there will be beat hard but I don't know this always because it takes time and I prefer manual things now I don't want this to show up I only want the audio of this layer so I will turn off the visibility and make sure that you have turned on this audio now audio is just just audio we can hear now now how to drag and drop our clips the final thing of this tutorial double click here so you will go inside the preview panel and then suppose you want uh, yeah I want this same so go to the start of this theme and here click on the open bracket this has streamed your clip from here and go to the end where you want to end this and click on the close bracket now you have particular this part you have trimmed successfully now go to this preview select it and drag and drop it to the timeline directly you can uh, select it and drag it to adjust it okay now I don't want the further part I want to trim it or we can do duration thing but I'll tell you that later for now I'll trim it trim the layer press ctrl plus shift and plus D ctrl shift D will trim your clip if you are on Mac then use the alternative for ctrl and shift I don't know what it is something like command or options but I never used Mac. So press Ctrl Shift D or its alternatives. And then I don't want this part. So I'll delete it. So we have this part. But as you can see that this is not in ratio, not needle fitting in our comp. So select this. Now what do most of the people, including me, did on the first time is they adjust it like this and this directly from the preview but it's totally something messy like you can see there is no proper ratio it's ruining the quality and yeah so uh, we don't want this we have to do everything professionally yeah one more option that undo to undo whatever you did the option is Control plus Z Control Z will make you redo. Oh, sorry, undo. And to redo, Control Shift plus Z. Okay, so these are the options. Hope so you are noting the shortcuts because it's very useful and important. I'll turn the audio off this. Turn off the audio.
Okay, now only uh, all I have is this the visit lady. Press select the clip, press S on your keyboard and then scale will show up. You can change it from you. See it is going in proportion. If you want to increase it from here and not from here, so uncheck this link option and then drag this or this. But I don't want this, I want it to be linked so it will go in proportion. And to adjust it up and down or right or left, press P on your keyboard so it will show up the position and then you can change the position. This is for right and left and this one is for up and down. I guess my clip was perfectly in the, its position. Okay, so after doing your clip ready like you are sure that you want only this part and this is okay so we will do is pre-compose this layer why to pre-compose now see if, if you're editing on these after effects and you mistakenly click it here like drag it from here then you have to do it again you have to trim it again but if you pre-compose it like right click select this pre-compose second is second option and press ok so now you drag it however it won't go further ok for the next tutorial I want you guys to adjust and arrange your clips according to the beat so we can do the further part. Okay, thank you.